Assalamu alaikum YouTubers Welcome back to SLK Tours Here in this section We will be deriving a formula for full super elevation Remember Full super elevation is always equal to BB square divided by GR And the full super elevation means The super elevation at apex point of a curve And remember Super elevation is just the difference in elevation of outer and inner edges in this formula, the B just represent the breadth of the road, V is just per speed of vehicle, G is just acceleration which is 9.8 meter per square second, and the R represent the radius of circular curve, because the pull super elevation is always at the apex of a circular curve. Now let's come straight into derivation, right? Say, we are asked to derive BB square divided by GR, which is super elevation. I just assume a road in a curve form and let me take the section only this this triangular section like in this palm the B represent just the breadth of the road and the H represent the super elevation are the difference of elevations of outer and inner edges if you look at a triangle we can get of course an angle theta 1 and say there is just a car traveling on the surface of this road Say this point is just representing the center of gravity of the given car and the weight of the given car is just acting downward and say the centrifugal force is just acting from the center to outside and remember this force is gonna overturn the vehicle to outer side right and I'll complete this guy with head to tail rule and this will make this a triangle and making just an angle say theta 2 now, for similarity or equilibrium, I can say theta 1 is equal to theta 2. So, the tangent of theta 1 equals tangent of theta 2. Remember, tangent is always equal to perpendicular base or just rise or run. This is just the ratio, right? And for tangent theta 1, I have of course the perpendicular as the super elevation, which is just the h, and the base is the road breadth. So h by b will be just the tangent of theta 1 which is equal to the tangent of theta 2. For tangent of theta 2 we have of course the centrifugal force is perpendicular and the base is just the vehicle weight which is acting downward. So p over w equals h by b. Here if you recall the 9th and 10th physics of course p by w is just a centrifugal ratio which is always equal to v squared divided by gr. So I can say of course h by b equals v squared divided by gr. Just multiplying both sides with b we can get of course h equals v squared divided by gr times b. Or I can write this formula in date form which is of course h equals b v squared divided by gr. And this is of course the super elevation. If you are just deriving the same equation for a railway gauge, of course you can only replace the breadth with the G, which will represent of course the gauge. So the formula will be in form like H equals GV squared divided by GR. And this was our approach, right? We have done it. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time and wassalam.